Hi everyone, my name is Timothy Failing. I'm an audio engineer. I've been mixing and mastering for over 15 years now. And today I'm gonna to go over how to use a sine wave and a spectrum analyzer to see the coloring that an audio plugin may or may not be adding to your sound. Um, so why run this experiment? I like to do it for two main reasons. One, I find it fun being able to visually see the harmonics or coloring that a plugin is applying to my sound. Um, and second off, I found that, let's say you're having a hard time hearing the coloring that a plugin states it's applying. I found that by practicing on a pure sine wave, your ears will develop um, and you'll start to hear the coloring pretty well on the pure sine wave. And then from that point, you'll actually start to really start hearing the coloring on full mixes, on busy music, on individual instruments and such. Um, so yeah, those are the two main reasons I like to actually run this experiment. Um, so first off, in Logic Pro, what I have is an instrument track pulled up, and I, I have the EXS24, which loads a sine wave by default. Um, it can be any plugin you like. Just make sure that you're loading a pure sine wave. Um, next, on my mastering chain at the bottom, I have Ozone 9 loaded up with the maximizer and the spectrum analyzer view. Um, there might be freeware out there that does this kind of spectrum view as well. I'm not sure of any, but if anyone knows any, feel free to comment in the comments section. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, initiate playback, and you'll see um, the frequency spectrum of just the pure sine wave. All right. Next, as my first example, I'm going to use the vintage tape, enable that. Um, everything is, is set at zero, and we're going to go back to our spectrum analyzer. Um, and then what you're going to notice is you're going to see some harmonics, um, some coloring being applied. What's cool about this, um, they have a harmonic slider. So watch this. Um, I'm going to initiate playback. I'm going to uh, drag the slider up, and you can watch the harmonics and the coloring actually change in real time. All right, let's disable that. Go back to our spectrum analyzer here. Um, next, I'm gonna run it this experiment on just a gain plugin. Um, this gain plugin, all it's supposed to do is give a volume boost. So um, there should be no coloring applied whatsoever if this is a true uh, just volume boost. So let's try that. Success. Um, it's just a pure volume boost. There's no color in happening. Um, all right, so for the rest of this tutorial, I'm just going to go through a handful of plugins that I have loaded on the mastering chain, and then we can watch and see the coloring applied. Um, but that's pretty much all this tutorial will be. I encourage you to try this out on, on any and all of your favorite plugins that you like to use, especially if, especially if you're having a hard time hearing what the coloring or the harmonics that's being applied. Um, all right, so first up, I have Universal Audio's 610A. I'm going to disable it, initiate playback, and then I'm going to enable it, and you're going to see the coloring happen. Next up is the Universal Audio 610B. Same thing, start with it disabled, initiate playback, and then turn on the plugin. All 
Next up, I have Waves API 560. They have this analog switch. I was having a really hard time hearing what this was doing. Um, I still do, to be honest. And um, so it's a tiny, super subtle little bump in a, a harmonics there. So watch what happens here. First, I'm going to start with it off and then switch it to analog on. So yeah, there's like a tiny little bump of some harmonics being applied there. Let's turn that off. Next up is Universal Audio's um, 1176 LN um, compressor. I'm just going to do this one enabled and you can watch the harmonics here. Next up is the Universal Audio um, 11, 1176 SE compressor. So that's interesting. By default, it is um, definitely coloring in a different way than the 1176 LN. We've got the uh, Teletronics LA-2A compressor. And then I've also got Logic's uh, compressors here. So I'm just going to uh, start with Platinum Digital and cycle through these different compressor styles. And you can watch and see the harmonics and the coloring change. All right. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. All right.